This instrument is the Masterworks Dulceforte extended bass on the right side. It's got 12 notes on this super bass bridge going all the way down to a low A, A1. The standard bass bridge has 20 courses. The standard treble bridge has 20 courses as well. And then there's an extended uh, chromatic bridge up here on the left with seven courses. This instrument has the curly maple end rails with a Peruvian walnut inlay. That walnut continues around the edges as well on the bindings. Um, has this inlay along the bindings here. The soundboard is a dark brown stain uh, with a matching stain on the dampers. The range of this instrument is five octaves from A1 to A6. This is what that looks like on the instrument. From A1 to A6. 12 notes on the right side on the bass bridge. In this upper register, you've got a nice two octaves of F major. We've even got a full octave of B flat up here. We've got a nice high G over here. thing I love about the dulcet forte is that the string spacing is a little wider than some of the other Masterworks instruments. On an instrument this size, it really helps with accuracy, uh, especially for me. I played another instrument for a number of years that had a really wide string spacing, uh, and I really loved that. And so coming to the dulcet forte, I didn't have to really adjust my intervals um, playing on, on this wide range of notes. Uh, it already felt perfect. Um, so coming to the string spacing was normal. Some things I love about this instrument are the tone. It's got this gorgeous low end tone. And yeah, the mid range is still nice and sweet. And the upper range is beautiful as always on a Masterworks instrument. Dampers on this instrument are great. They use this uh, cable drive system. And so it attaches to the end of both of these dampers on either side. The pedal works very nice and smooth. It gives you a lot of gradation of damping. So it's not just on and off. You've got options. On the hammer dulcimer, something that is extremely important is tuning stability. This instrument has been amazing tuning-wise. Uh, for example, over the past four weeks or so, I've been in four different states. I've played concerts in different venues. I've played in multiple church services. I've done a little bit of recording. I've had it outside for a photo shoot. I played for a dulcimer festival and taught classes all week and then played in a concert. Uh, and over that time, I have only twice done a full tuning of the entire instrument. Most of the time, it's just been maintenance touch-up work on individual notes. Um, today, I tuned the whole thing up, um, but it had honestly been about four weeks since I've done an entire tuning on the whole instrument. Tuning has been very stable, uh, and even if it has moved a little bit, it's pretty much moved with itself. So if I've been playing solo, it hasn't been a big deal if it's been slightly sharp or slightly flat. Um, but really, the tuning's been incredibly stable. I've been very happy with that. If you've ever thought about getting a dulcet forte or another Masterworks instrument for yourself, I would be more than happy to help you with that process. I'm a vendor for Masterworks, and so I'd love to help you walk through that. We can find the instrument that's right for you, that fits your budget, that fits what you want to do musically. Uh, and helps you be creative and make you more inspired to play a beautiful instrument. Hope you've enjoyed this video. In the meantime, let's hear a little bit more of what this instrument can do. Mm -hmm.